Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another account review. Today, I'm with Amy, and she has this uh, level 53 account, and I'm trying to improve a little bit on getting her run times a little bit faster. So, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, guys. I'm sorry you just heard my phone. I'm going to turn the notifications off so you don't have to hear that anymore. Um, yeah, so what do you need help on? What are the... Uh... Uh, what are the main things that you you want to improve? Let's see. I gave you a list. I know one of them was speed up my B10 runs. Um, another one was to improve my astrogem farming efficiency. Uh, and PVP was on that list. If we get if we get to it, uh, if you don't have time for it, I understand. So, uh, would you say it's more important to, like, you want to speed up your B8 team first? Because, obviously, um, for for farming B10 versus B8, like, even with my really, really fast B10 team, B8 is still more efficient for me if I just want to farm Astrogems. So, if you're, like, yeah. really concerned about just farming Astrogems for Heroes Fest or whatever, um, you would want to speed that up first. Yeah, and my plan for speeding up my B8 team currently is getting... Uh, my fire, uh, what's his name? Siegfried. My fire Siegfried to level 60 because I still ha have him at level 50. He's a morale booster and he has elemental edge, so that's going to speed up my runs up quite a bit, I assume. Yes, that is, that is right. Um, and then, uh, uh, I think I'm good after that because, because I have, uh, I have a fire succubus with a siphon set. It's not the best siphon set. It's flat attack, but percent crit. Um, but she she does her job well enough uh, to clear the last of the waves. And uh, my Mona is level sixty. My Indra is level sixty, and he does a significant amount of damage. So once I get my Indra, I mean, once I get my uh, Siegfried to level sixty, I think will be 57 59 mm -hmm. seconds on average uh, right now it's a minute 15 uh is your is your succubus able to completely like when she crits is she able to just completely one shot the wave with this set no she's not she's not able to do that yet because of the flat attack oh, and i see. can't get better second mm -hmm. jumps mm. You are do still you still do get some dragon sigils throughout the week, correct? Like just a few. You don't really uh, farm for them. Um, at all. Um, special, but I usually average around like thirty to forty, and I only started actually participating in dragons maybe two or three weeks ago. Let me let me see about this, cause um, there's. There's a number of things you can do, but it's it the, like like there will be trade offs. There will definitely be trade offs uh, here or there. One is you can go into story maps and do what I I kind of did early on is like I I went with you know the Dark Miho team on Slumbering City, and I basically just wasted my re well I didn't waste my resources because back in the day um, Slumbering City was still efficient. Like they you know how they nerfed the gold gain in Slumbering City. Yeah, it, it used to be efficient, so I was able to basically keep farming there, and I was able to make astro gems at the same time. And um, but you can still do something similar, but it's you you have to you have to trade something, which is you can go to like either Star Sanctuary, or Slumbering City, depending on what um, whatever monsters you want to farm. You can actually do something on the side of the, at the same time, depending on like if you want to um, farm certain rare monsters for maybe fusion or something. Um, but farm yeah, up some dragon I'm, sigils. I'm definitely looking for a news, but I haven't found any. I got like two. Yeah, but I, uh, I was, I was. It was kind, of, kind of more of a side thing. The like whatever you're trying to farm, but the main point is to try to get as many dragon sigils as possible. And um, if you can just get like one attack, like you know, percent, you know, six star siphon gem. If you can just get like one of those. It can significantly make your like farming units much much stronger. Just like any any unit you put that on will just be so much better. Yep. Just gotta keep at it every week. If you can just get one, uh, then it it 
actually might be enough because you can put the flat one on on another like you can put the flat attack um on another unit and then like uh maybe use a you use a water unit as well because the water units have like element advantage over over fire so they do actually do i think it was like about 50 percent extra damage yeah my well. mona my water mona is still level 50 so i need to work on her too um so i could possibly replace her injure with her um but i don't know on that yet the the other thing is your your slots because obviously you don't have a uh, well um there's two things you could do. You could you could be like me and just like I mean you do have some some nice units. You have like the Yaksha, the uh, the Katito, and the uh, wait. Do you have Thor? Uh yeah, I got a light Thor. I was I was talking about the dark one, but you do have a water Shelly. I missed uh, out on dark Thor, unfortunately. There there is a way for you to basically do what I did and skip straight to B ten. Oh, uh, are you talking about like uh, the DB ten? Yeah, dragons. Skip oh, yeah, straight no, to I'm dragons. Doing dragons with 10. Yeah, you can you can just do that. Like I you do know, with... like uh, two to three refills each run, which is annoying, but you know. Yeah, you can. It, I mean, there's there's that, or you could also do uh, actually depending on the unit slots. My dragons B ten team is Kubera, so Yaksha. Um, Gatito and Mona and uh, Shelly for the defense break. And All then right. you get Shelly to level 62. Hmm. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna have to like either skip the next Heroes Fest or something like that if you if you want to progress as fast as possible. <laughs> um, but I think I it's definitely worth the trade off. It's it's worth it because I mean if you if you do this now it means that you'll have more efficient farming so in the future whenever you're trying to farm up for Heroes Fest it'll be a lot faster. You, you yeah. Got like a month before next year's Fest, yeah. Um, I think they're gonna have one like on the first again, and then it's gonna switch to like once a month. I mean, uh -huh. you could you could also try to farm up for this Heroes Fest, and then um. And then start do it after. yeah. Start doing your progression stuff after afterwards. That could also work as well. It, it depends on what you want to do. I wish they didn't have this last one because it tempted me too much. That is true. Um, I shouldn't even gone for it. I really shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm kicking myself. Let me let me think. Uh, yeah, there's. The, there's a few problems with uh with us with some of my plans because first of all your your Mona's slots are like pretty bad yeah like it's triangle double diamond um, yeah. if you don't want to if you want to save your resources in form of astrogems I think it was B six or B seven there was a dark dragon that only drops square and since square has either crit rate it can be either crit rate attack or HP um, or defense it basically has a higher chance for it to be like a good gem, and if you can't clear dragons B10 like stably, um, it might be worth going down into BA. And even if you drop like a five star um, attack gem, is like siphon gem, is still worth using. One thing I could do is I could scrap my water Mona since she's not level sixty. It's not that big of a deal, and mm -hmm. then go for a uh, triple square. You could raise a new water mona, but you don't necessarily have to scrap this one. You can leave her the way, like just leave her like this. You don't have to really do anything with her. Well, yeah, and not like get rid of her, but just like not deal with her. Keep her for like other things, mm -hmm. clan bottles maybe. Um, if you want the fastest absolute, like the absolute fastest farming team for for golems, you have to have siphon. Like there's no there's no way around it. Mm -hmm. Like Siphon will just speed up your run speed by by a lot, but the only um, the only way you get Siphon gems is if you farm Dragon Sigils and farm Dragons, right? Yep. And you have that actually takes resources. Like you have to sacrifice resources to do that. And you either use your resources to farm Dragons and get gems, or you farm use your resources to save up for Heroes Fest. Um, so you know you could you could do everything I'm saying right now, like after 
after the next Heroes Fest, you can still keep doing B8 for like another two weeks and then mm -hmm. wait for the Heroes Fest and then do that, do do this afterwards. Um, basically, you just go to whichever map of your choice. Like if you're farming Anus for Shiva Fusion or Light Anu Fusion, um, you can go back to Star Sanctuary and just farm, farm there. Or, uh, and then you try to basically just stay awake in like Star Sanctuary and it's going to actually make your astrogens bleed a bit. <laughs> like you're going to be... Uh, bleeding through your astrogems a little bit while you're doing that, but um, you know while you're farming up stars in, in Star Sanctuary, you uh, you can get those Dragon Sigils. Go into either you can go to the Dark Dragon stage or you can continue staying in B10. It's it's actually up to you uh, up to you as well. There's no, I mean the the difference is just um, if you farm this this square only stage. There's a slightly higher chance that you'll get something that you can immediately use, but if you just want to think of it for, um, for for like you know the if you just want to plan for the late game, like you know you want to plan for the you you want just the only to keep the highest tier gems, then um, definitely do B10 because B10 only has a chance to drop six stars, right? Right. Um, so there's also that as well, and then um, you could. What you could actually do is you can afterwards, because I I don't know uh, how how fast you can farm, but if you can put just um, e even just just a siphon set together with just one attack percent gem, and that monster being water, like it can be any any water nuker, and it, it would work. I think the best is probably still Water Mona, because she has the morale boost and she has a very very high um, base attack at at level sixty. I think it's two thousand eight hundred. If I remember correctly, um, so for a three-star mor like water morale booster, she has she has one of the highest attacks. I think. I'm pretty sure. Let me let me just uh, check her stats. I remember her base attack is really really high. Dang it! Where is she? Yeah, it's like two thousand eight hundred. Like it's one of the highest for for any three-star. So basically, like if you have her, and she has elemental advantage over fire. So if you have her with like just one attack um, percent gem maxed out, and then like one flat attack gem, maybe like two flat attack gems, um, she should have enough damage with her, like maybe with her leader skill as well, to basically just one shot the wave, you know. So yeah. you you can you can farm dragons first, and then uh, depending on whichever slot, like if it happens to be like a square or something. And it can't fit your current Mona, then you just uh, you just go back to you know go back to Pago's Coast, farm up some Monas, and find one that has a the perfect slots to fit whatever gem set that you have you currently have, and then just yep. raise that one to level sixty. And then and then you'll be able to start farming B eight really really fast after that. And then it it's really up to you because you can keep continue farming B eight. But if you want to continue progressing in the game, you'll need to um, you need to go back to story, keep farming dragons, and get more sigils. And, you know, do kind of do what I do every week. At, at that point. Yeah. Um. Start working towards that fire gen because I got a water. Do Do you have any plans for like? doing i mean it's it's actually possible for you to not even care about farming um golems v10 because i get all my gems and dragons now like i i don't do a lot of golems v10 i just do it when i whenever i need to farm astro gems i still do it um you know it's not as efficient in farming gold as as b8 but it means i have to like slime less because the, the, I mean, the efficiency is for um, energy to gold is higher, but the time efficiency is not as high as B8. You know what I'm talking about for, for B10. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, but, like, the other problem with uh, that is I don't have a very reliable team for Dragon's B10, so I'm spending, like, 20 to 30 Astro Gems each time I get a gem. And most of the time I'm throwing that gem away because it's either flat or it's garbage. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think what I really want is just, just a solid side on that for a while and then like maybe go back to DB10 if I'm not completely satisfied with my speeds. I see. Um, Alright. Uh, 
If I had my dark, like, if I had the dark Thor, I would say I have a chance, but I, I, I really needed that dark Thor, and that dark Thor is gone. I mean, I can exp I can kind of explain to you how to like, you know, there's, um, let me let me go into dragons or not dragons, uh, golems, B eight, with whatever current team that you're running. So, uh, there is there is one problem with only having one unit with a siphon set, but it's still better than nothing, because when you go into when you go into um, golems, the like say for example this succubus isn't a succubus it's, it's your mona with a siphon set instead like the water mona and she can get her bar full on turn one the problem comes when you when you actually get to the boss and when we when we get there i can uh you'll you, you can see because your units um might not all attack the golem boss they might attack the side units and with your mona even if she has her aoe nuke up it's not enough to one shot the boss right mm -hmm. so the way to um, to make it efficient is you need unit like multiple units with siphon set. But I think it's I think I don't think you can get to um, that level of efficiency yet because you don't have like you don't even have one full siphon set, right? Yeah. Because I'm I'm farming like whenever I'm farming BA, I'm using like Jin and two water monos. This way he uh, like they they basically always get their bars to full. So it doesn't matter at the boss wave, they're just going to do their AoE nuke and it's going to literally just kill everything. So uh, like you can, you can kind of see what happens here. Like Say for example, the succubus is your Mona and she won't have enough damage to one-shot the boss. And the only way you can like make sure to kill this boss in turn one is if, you, if everyone focuses him instead, right? Yeah. But if you yeah. had like... Yeah, um... It, it could take two turns, but basically, like, if you want high sufficiency, um, you want to be able to beat B8 in five attacks. And that will get oh, you a, a run of about, I think, 49 seconds. That was a really bad run. I usually average 115, I swear to God. But yeah, it's all situational. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I really need one attack percent at least. And I've, I've been trying each week, but, you know, I only just recently started, and before that I wasn't having much luck. Um, if you're... Because there's, there's other things as well um, that can count towards your progression. There's also, like, PvP, because every single week you get astrogens for that as well. Like, that's, like, 700... If you can get to, like, Heroes 1, that's, like, 700 astrogens every single week. And um, I don't really worry too much about clan battles because the 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 uh, what's it called this the slope for like um, progressing in clan battles is actually really really high because you need to raise multiple units um, and it, it it basically gives you like maybe maybe like a ten percent increase in damage and that actually doesn't really give you anything back after you invested that much that much resources into clan battles. But I think once you're, once you're in like the super super late game, it's still kind of worth it because um, it's passive income that you get every single every single week, right? Yeah, I'm I'm really working towards just getting my Siegfrieds from clan battles because I do have a Siegfried with uh, a leader skill and it's mm -hmm. it's level five, so <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh yeah, this is this is pretty nice. Forty four percent defense. Really amazing uh the first uh variant nat 5 if you if you want to um because let me let me think about this like there's it, it actually depends on what units you have for pvp because for some people like for me it was actually pretty easy to when I first, uh, when they first made the change, and I got to Heroes One, I basically just ran my Dark Cupid with like three Dark Mihos, and I was able to do that because I have a Dark Cupid. Oh but, God, uh, but uh, you know, you you do have some like nice monsters as well. You have uh, you know, Water Purse, although she's only evil evil two, um, and then just normal like aggressor units like like these, and you also have Light Thor. He's also pretty good for for defense. But um, 
if you have some better gems on them, because I don't think their gems are like six star max gems, are they? They're definitely not plus 15. I know that much. Yeah, if you had like plus 15 gems with like high resistance, um, just running a few aggressors, I mean, it might take you more fights than it t does me, but you'll still be able to, um, you'll still be able to climb up to like, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if you can exactly get the heroes one because it might it's a little bit harder now because everyone has like pugilists and shit um but you can still get much higher and, and get more um passive income every single week if you if you have like you know good gems on your units so it still might be worth doing to like it still might be worth it for for you to eventually you know build a golem speed 10 team and like farm up some some sets because it's it's uh, you know, you know how I farm dragons for gems. Um, uh, like the, it, I might be doing like maybe a hundred. If I if I go really really hard that week and I get like two hundred dragon sigils, um, I do a hundred runs of dragons. Right, out of those a hundred runs, without counting the the dragon sets, like the other sets, the gems that are worth keeping, I might literally only keep one or something like that. You know, like out of out of a hundred like six star gems. Like I might, I might only keep one, uh, maybe two. And if I do Golem's B10, like in a, in just, uh, just one day of doing Golem's B10, I might already be able to like get one or two, um, you know, six star gems that are worth keeping. So it's much easier to progress in your gems farming golems versus just only farming dragons. I only do dragons because, you know, I need the siphon, I need the pugilist. Um... So I mean, in the future, if you if you're thinking of like um, you know upping your clan battle teams or your PVP teams a bit, it's still worth doing. Like, still worth um, making a good uh, Golem's B10 team, and you do definitely have some of the units for that. Like, you have Venus, run some Nukers, run some Sappers, and then you know you got a really really fast uh, B10 team just with that. Yeah, my my Golem's B10 team right now is. Yaksha, Mona, Yuki, and Persephone, and that does about 2 minutes 45 seconds average, um, but it's not 100% reliable. It has like a 96% victory. So you're not, you're running, um, you're running a no light tank? No. Yeah. But everyone has like at least one defensive gem, right? That's the, that's the way you're running it. Um, maybe. Yeah, she has an HP gem, and then uh, she actually doesn't need one, but you know, because she's already like super tanky with her base stats. Yeah, I was thinking about making uh my Miho go glass because she'll do more damage that way, and she can survive. If you want it to um, be really stable, a really easy team to, to go with, is you run Light Venus. Because she can solo tank super easily. If you just make her HP pool high, she's healing herself yeah, every yeah. single turn. But she like she makes my runs really slow, like more than three minutes. You the, the way you run her is after you run her, you build everyone full glass cannon. You know, you go with uh you go with like these two, but like you build them like full full nuke. And then you you go with another uh, something that can wave clear like a dark Mona, you know. You build her full nuke as well. And then I might try that. And then that will get you like a really really fast B10 team. Um, could also use a water Mona after you get a water Mona on Siphon because you can use that to wave clear faster. The Siphon set will help you uh, clear even better. Um, but yeah, there's. There's multiple things you can work on. I think it, you might need to put it on hold if you're if you really want to do the next Heroes Fest. But if you don't, you can start working on this now, which is um, which I would say is um, I mean since you already have a decent like Dragons B10 team that you can use to clear in like two to three refills, you can go into your go into like story map because um, you you do get some passive income as well from clan battles. I'm not sure how how high your clan is or how many um, astro gems you get per week from this. 
Yeah, you guys are you guys are 82. Wait, how do I how do I see the rewards? Six thousand and then like you're like what? I'm twelve, I believe. I should be ten, but I missed the battle. Alright. So you're like um You get like four percent of that, which is Damn it, why is my math so fucking bad? <laughs> uh, you get like 20... Wait, 4 times 6. Yeah, you get like 240-ish. 240-ish a week. Plus your Ashmon League battles. Which, I don't know what rank you finish at. Challengers one. I don't know how, how I'll get this one, but we'll see. So you, you get about 500 Astro Gems a week passively. Um, you also get some from like events, you know, with them, when they do like dice rolls and stuff. Also from like bingo and stuff, you might get a little bit more. Because yep. um, cause what, I'm, <laughs> what I'm telling you to do now might be a little bit dangerous because you're going to be bleeding in Astro Gems if you start immediately. Um, because you're going to be, first of all, you're going to be losing astrogens while farming like star sanctuary right every time you mm -hmm. you farm and convert back you're going to be losing a little bit um and that that's that's even if you don't spend your astrogens at all like if you spend anything it's just you're gonna you're gonna be losing gold like mad and plus when you're doing doing dragons you need to spend a lot of astrogens to refill so um you know if you go for the whole week in like star sanctuary you might get like a hundred dragon sigils and that's like 50 runs and then if you're refilling like if you're refilling once just only once every like 50 run for 50 runs that's 500 astro gems you know and that might not even guarantee you uh an attack siphon gem i don't i don't know if you really want to like uh, keep refilling that many times for B10, especially if you have like 50 something sigils. You, you could also go into B7, which only drops squares. And this stage is a lot easier. I'm pretty sure you can nuke through this without, uh, without, without using any refills. Do you want to try it once? Sure. What's the gems on this one? It's only square. Yeah, but it's, it's five to six. Yeah, it's five okay. to six. Only B ten drops. Um, only only six. But the difference is, I think you can clear this stage without a single refill. You should be able to. Uh, you basically just uh. What's Succubus's slot? Or no, not Succubus. Um, well, yeah. What's Succubus's slots? Just real quick. I think it was double, double diamond. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So one of those is the flat. This one, yeah. If you can replace this one, um, but you might not even be using it on her. You might use it on some something else, something with a morale right. boost on first skill. But definitely to start, I would be using it on her. Yeah, that's true. Because I'd I, need to raise the Mona. Yeah, you would need to do that, and then um, you know, go to Pagos Coast, farm some Monas, find one that has triple square, and then and then raise that one. You know. I'm not entirely sure which team is the best for this. Wait, will this get you 100% crit on the Mona and the Gatitos? Mm -mm, I don't think she has 100% crit. All right, she has. She probably ha she has about like 80-ish with this. The Gatito has. Right, this might be a little bit dangerous because your gems aren't maxed out either on some of your nukers. Okay, this 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 one should be fine. Uh is a hundred percent. Yeah, it's also dark. I might as well use this. I I can't remember if he has really high resist or not. I only did this like three or four times. All right, don't don't get mad at me if you uh <laughs> if just, we if we accidentally die once. All right. No, nope, just do whatever you want. I I gave you reign over my account for a reason. All right. Uh, 
I was thinking if I put just put in this to nuke her, nuke him down, or put in an armor breaker. Might you might want to ask someone with a bit of experience. I can I can go on my Discord server and ask some people. Some people might have done this a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna go with this. All right. It's it's two dragon sigils, and I doubt you're gonna go over like three refills. So whatever. All right, let's do this. I think this I think this is the team. This is the dream, dream team. Cause if you do, if you can do that, if you're, if it takes you like, like w even one on average refill, um, for B10, like if you, if it takes at least one or like one to two average refill, you, I mean, fifty runs is like five hundred Astro gems. You know, you don't want to be spending that every single week. I don't think you can afford to. I really can't. <laughs> yeah. So like, this is your alternative. If you if you don't want to spend any astrogems, uh, I think I think we stun her ass. I remember her not having as high resist as the light one on B10. Okay, I'm, I was wrong. Um, what do you do? I can't remember which one does more damage. I think the ghost is an attacker, if I remember correctly. We're just gonna we're just gonna take him out and hope uh, hope you don't die. Ugh. Actually, it doesn't do any damage. She's she's pretty weak. Wait, can I put this one to sleep? If I can, I'll just keep hitting her. Yo, that Yaksha two-turn sleep is so strong. Yep, I love her. I love her so much. I think you can do this without a single refill. I'm pretty sure you can. Ah, uh, I, I know the problem is here. You can CC two of them. Actually, no, there shouldn't be any problems because you have two CC, right? So you can, at the very least, like you just kill one of them, and then you CC two of them, like this. Yep. And then only one of them can attack, which probably won't kill anything. And then rinse and repeat. That's weird. The stun doesn't land twice. Stuns can't stack. I just realized that. I never used the unit with two turn two turn CC before. Like I never I don't have a single one built. Alright, moment of truth. If I just if I just throw this all on him, will he die? Hopefully. Oh, oh my, my god, god, what? You guys are kidding me. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Oh, oh wait, we're, okay. we're good, we're good. Alright, that was too damn troll. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. What the hell just happened? Alright, uh... <laughs> uh... Trash. <laughs> yeah, but... I mean, you can... you can, but, We can do this without a single, like, astrogen spent, basically. Yeah, that's, that's the trade-off. And I can get Astral Essence that one anyway, so... I might just stick to B7 then, until I... I for B10. I'm, I think you have, you do have the units for B10, but they they don't have their gems like completely maxed out. Uh, yeah. My Shelly needs to be level 60. That's your Mona gems were maxed out. Like if if one of these were plus 15, the dragon would have died, for sure. Uh, if this if one of these were just plus 13, the dragon would have died. <laughs> you gotta put so much into gems to get them to plus 15. Just, oh, it's ridiculous. Just raise both of these to plus 13. I think you'll have enough damage. I think it's not too expensive. Just raise, like, I mean, one level. Or if you want, it's 20% off. I can't fail, like, 30 times. I, I hope I can't. <laughs> Which one's better? This one at least has resist. Even if it has no crit. Yeah, that, that, the other one's definitely better. This one has, like, 20% resist. 
No one told me there was going to be a 20% off. I spent all my gold. Same. I'm sad. Actually, I'm just impatient. Like, I probably could have just looked on Facebook and been like, oh, it's in two weeks or something. But I, I like, I want my units now. Mm-hmm. Oh god. What is this? <laughs> this is my luck. <laughs> it's just we just need one level of this gem. We don't need any more than that. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, we're we're done. We're done here. <laughs> um Alright, that's that's enough to kill the dragon. If everyone has their bars full. I mean just that one. The the dragon doesn't do its AoE till fifty percent, right? So you could just like use all your first skills on the dragon and then he kills one of your units and then with the other three you just nuke his face. That also works as well, I think. Like the way I do it for B10, you just use your first skills on him first and then just bring him to like around 60% and then yeah. next turn you just throw everything on him. On him. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that solves one thing. Like if you... You could uh, just start, like, you could either start now or start start after the next Heroes Fest. You can keep farming B8 for, like, another two weeks now. Or you can start uh, start farming just Stark Sanctuary full-time until, until you have, like, all the Dragon Sigils you need. And then just go into Dragons and start, like, you know, start doing, doing um, B7. And then you can get, like, at least, even if you get a 5-star attack gem, it's much better than the flat one that you have right now. I think what I'm going to do is, at least for the time that the turtle rabbit things are around, mm -hmm. um, for the fusion, I'm going to keep farming B8 in hopes that one of those eggs that I'm going to get is going to be... Uh, Fire Yuki, uh -huh. and then beyond that, I am gonna go back to Star Sanctuary and just try and get good gems from dragons. All right, I guess that works as well. Um, because I don't want to miss out on the free Evo three net four, if possible. <laughs> that's that's up to RNG if they want to bless me with a Fire Yuki. Uh, I think, you know, I, I seriously think they nerfed the race, but everyone keeps calling me crazy whenever I say that. Like, everyone's just like, no, it's just, you're, you just have bad luck. I don't know, man. I can not tell you. Uh, um, I don't know, I, I, I got a lot of nat 4s recently from eggs, so who knows. Uh, let me, let me think about this. Uh, the other thing is you just could... I mean, you, you can make a pretty good golems team as well in the future. It's basically just this, plus uh, plus these two. You could also go with uh, go with her, and uh, wait. What other light units do you have? Oh wait, you also have light verde with a with a variant. Yep. You know she can actually solo tank B ten. She's really, really tanky. If you max her out. I need to get her to level 60 then. <laughs> she can solo tank B10 and she does more than... Like, she she does more uh, damage and generates blue souls than her. Because she doesn't do anything at all. She only just self-heals and puts up a shield. But when she's healing, like when Verde is healing, she's also nuking and uh, doing a bit of damage and as well as generating blue soul for your team. And this thing almost acts as, acts as a uh, morale boost, kind of. But only when the enemy has SP. So you can use you can actually use her to solo tank and then put in um, put in a nuker and then like two sappers. That also works as well. What nuker would you recommend? Well, it depends on what fits your siphon set once you complete it. I mean, there's Dark Mona, There's a, you can build a Water Mona if it's easier to gem out the Water Mona. Because the good thing with Water Mona is you can go to Pagos Coast, farm like 16 Monas, 
and probably at least one of them will have a, the slot you want. You know, and just build that one. Alright. Um, actually, it's like um, one out of 27 chance to get... The leader skill water mono will definitely improve my runs too, because the other two units that I'm using, the sappers, are water. That is true. Yeah, you can use the water mono lead. You could also use the Verde lead because you're trading three percent off of the out of off of these guys, but uh, but the the Verde gets a thirty percent boost. You know what I'm talking about. Leader skill again. It's uh attack for everyone. Oh, she has fighting. So she also gets a boost as well, if you right. use her leader skill. Um, Yuki's not really good because her her attack's quite low, but you do actually have her evil 3, so she does at least have 2,000 attack. The reason why Mona is actually considered um, a good sapper to build on full attack is because of the skill books. Like, she she gets like a 20-something percent boost on her first skill, I think. Um, a 30% attack boost, you know. Mm -hmm. And she gets a 15% boost on her, her AoE. So, she's considered like, you know, this... This number is uh is basically multiplied by by like you know one point three basically yeah when whenever she's nuking um with her first skill and that's why she's considered a little bit better than, as as a nuker but you can also also skill up Yuki but Yuki's like it's a lot harder to find skill books for her yeah I got a single skill book on her and I wish I saved it now I have a dark Yuki oh you do. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dark Yuki. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. She's really strong if you can max skill her. She's insanely strong. Like yeah, that's end game stuff. <laughs> like this gets she gets a ten percent extra activation plus one extra turn, which means that her uh her sap becomes a uh, actually wait no, she gets yeah she gets a twenty percent activation plus a plus a uh. An extra turn, so this becomes a one hundred percent two turn sap, which is exactly like the, the uh, fire Persephone. So she's basically I a. On one of your videos, telling you about the Yuki. I don't remember which one it was, but um, oh no, I remember now. It was uh, it was one of your uh, how to gem every four star. Mm -hmm. The Yuki one. Yeah. The. You basically just gem her, like, crit double attack. Mm -hmm. And she just becomes, like... If you have, like, a really good siphon gem with uh, really high crit substats and you have her max skills, she's actually better than Fire Purse. Like, she's literally literally the best because of the dark uh, crit damage lead. Just gotta get those books. You gotta get her max skill, and you gotta, gotta get a... A siphon set with a hundred percent crit, like it's just it's like super end game shit. But she she actually has the potential to be better than fire purse. Um. But yeah, that's that's like if a lot of ifs. Yeah, that's that's way down the line. But for for now, I'll just use these two, and then use uh which, whichever nuker you can put on siphon. Um, if you don't have a Siphon Nuker, you could just use your Dark Mona now, and then use, um, I mean, you could, you could temporarily use Light Venus, or you could use, um, you could use Light Verde, if you don't want to raise her, because your Venus is already level 60, so you don't have to do anything. Like, if you, if you get a Siphon, if you get a Mona, like a new Mona, with a Siphon set, like a triple square or something, you just put her on Siphon, after farming, like, B7 Dragons. Uh, you can just run the Mona lead, because Mona has, like, attack lead for water. It doesn't matter if she gets the boost, because she doesn't do any damage anyways. She has, like, 1,800 base attack, so she's, like, she's pretty much hitting, like, a wet noodle. No matter what. Mm -hmm. So you just run the Mona lead, and then just run these two, and then run her, and then you, you already have a very, very fast B10 team. Um, so gotta gem these two, like, full glass cannon. The other thing is, um... You could also improve a little bit on your PvP team afterwards. That's after you start like farming um, golems, or if you're going to full time farm like I don't think you can full time farm dragons until you farm golems for a bit, because your your gems aren't 
exactly there yet. <laughs> um, they're not they're not perfect. Like your to make B B10 as stable as I'm running it, and even me, I'm not running it like as stable as I want it to be. Like I still have to refill a lot of times, but at the very least, like it normally, unless I'm extremely unlucky, um, it doesn't go over one refill if I do actually have to refill. And most of the time I don't. So um, to get to that point, you actually need some decent gems. Like basically all your nukers need to be 100% crit. And these monsters that have CC that are reliant on crit, they also need to be 100% as well. Like not, not a single 0.5% less, you know. Um, and the only way to do that is you have to go back to go back to golems um, and probably b10 because not everyone has like all square slots and you need to just grind there for a bit until you have like um, you don't need like perfect gems you don't need to put them all on ruin but at least like with an intuition set or with a um, you know with a valor set or even with a broken set they need to be uh, like at 100% you know on the note of dragons though uh, I did manage to pull two light sparkets. Mm -hmm. The only problem is neither of them have a square. Sad. Oh god. So I'm debating whether or not I want to turn both of those into one dark sparket. Mm, the you might as well not use them because like if they don't have a square, uh, they're not going to be reliable. Like how how. Like, you have to have really, really insane gems if you want to get them yeah. to 100% crit, you know, without the square. Um, it's not that hard with light units, actually. It's not that difficult. Uh, wait, you, they get 20% base, right? I don't know. Twenty. Yeah, light units get 20, all light units get 20% base, base crit. And you basically need 80%. And if you have like an intuition set, that's another 20%. So you need to put like on an intuition set, you need to have um, a total of 60%, which means you need three gems with three crit rolls, which will like give you 20% each, like three gems with 20% each. And each roll for a gem is, uh, I think, six to six to seven point five percent. So it needs to be a high roll as well. It needs to at least be like a six point five, and then like one of them needs to be a seven roll. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna turn both of them into a dark spark. It. I I do actually have like some intuition gems that I could I could pull that off, but uh, <laughs> it's probably gonna take a while. To, like it's gonna be very very difficult for you to do that. You need you need really really good gems. Um, so yeah, you might I think you might as well turn it into dark. I mean the dark one doesn't require any good slots. It doesn't even need a square. Just don't know what I'd do with the dark spark hit. It's pretty good for farming actually because the the dark spark hit if you're using it to farm story maps, um, a lot of times siphon units cannot get like a full bar. Like I saw, I saw um, Asian Elite tested on his stream when he was using this Dark Mona that had like crit double attack, and she was running it with with like a crit lead, or he was running it with a with a crit lead, and he he wasn't able to get this get the Dark Mona get a full bar on turn one when she was when when uh she was hitting the light units in Star Sanctuary. So it uh, the Dark Spark it gives you like a ten percent extra boost you know, in, in your bar. So it will it'll push you over that threshold, basically. And I think that's what he's running a, a lot now when he's running, um, when he's running like story mode. I, I've seen it a few times on his stream when, when he was running story mode, he would run the dark spark it along with his uh, dark Mona. This way it makes sure that she gets a full bar. The, I think the only two monsters that can get a full bar are the, um, the, the fire Valk and the fire Jin without the help of any anybody else unless they have like extremely good gems and i think maybe like dark purse can do it if you have like really good gems on her as well like 100 percent crit substat and then you can run like an attack lead and then she might be able to get a full bar 
because the way the way siphon works is um it deals damage based on the percent of health that the enemy lost including the the overkill damage so if you hit something uh, with your like say for example you're hitting something with this fire succubus and she completely one shots it uh, the siphon will siphon back um, I think 40% of that you know so if she basically just like just has enough damage to kill something um, she will gain a 40% SP bar after she completely kills a unit um, and it's the same thing with uh same thing with any other morale boost unit. So if you add that 40% plus this 30%, you only get a 70% bar. But if you overkill that unit, say for example, you had enough damage to 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 do do enough damage to kill that unit twice. Like say for example that unit had like um, a thousand HP or so, and you did two thousand damage to the unit, like a thousand damage to its health and a thousand damage like in in overkill, um, basically. It will actually give you. Um, it will actually because. Because this siphons forty percent of the, you know, percent H HP that the enemy lost, it will actually give you eighty percent of the bar back. Yep. Yeah. So, so if you have enough damage to overkill the unit twice, plus a morale boost, like a thirty percent, it will give you a two hundred and ten percent or a hundred and ten percent morale boost, which will give you a full bar on turn one. Um, but the thing with the with the Jin is uh Jin and the fire valk is there sp sp siphon i'm not exactly sure i think it's it was 50 percent or 100 percent. i can't i can't remember exactly but basically it's a lot more than the actual siphon set so their sp boost plus the siphon um if you're able to like one shot a unit it basically means like a full bar that's why the fire gen is so strong in farming that's why i use them use them so much because he he's like one of the only units without the without the help of anybody else he can just get a full bar like on turn one by himself his skill it says like greatly restores sp right i think yeah I, th I think um it, it didn't used to be called morale boost it used to just be called sp siphon and only two units in the game had it um the fire valk and the uh the Jin. If they changed the name to morale boost when they gave, gave the SP siphon skill like the name to to like the uh to, to this skill mm -hmm. yeah but it, it used to i think it's i can't remember if it was 50 or 100 or literally like 100 percent back but i think 100 percent might be too op i think it's like 50 back or, or something like that um but yeah when when you use like these units to nuke um they get a they they get this and then if you have them on a siphon set it basically almost always means if they're able to one shot something like just one unit it it pretty much always means that they have they can get a full bar um you know immediately and that's without the help of any other unit without any the help of any other like team morale booster or anything like that but if you don't have if you if you don't have those units gemmed up and ready to use for farming um the next best thing is you can run like a water mona or a dark mona who has like a 30 percent morale boost and then you can pair that up with like a dark spark it who gives you like a 10 percent more so that becomes a 40 percent morale boost right mm -hmm. and then um if you have a siphon set on that unit if you have enough damage to deal i think um i think you'll need to do like 1.5 of the enemy's bar like you need to overkill it by like half an hp bar um then you can get a full bar on turn one which is definitely doable if you if you're using like um like a dark mona with an attack lead and she crits or something like that because she has a high crit crit damage or if you're running like water mona and you're running it against like a fire unit um you get that extra bonus damage and plus the you know plus the sp siphon plus the support of like other units like Dark Spark it plus her own morale boost, she might be able to get a full bar on turn one. Something like that. Um, so yeah, that's one of the uses if you do actually get a Dark Spark it. But the... Yeah, I think, I think you pretty much know what to do for now. Uh, it's basically you farm story, get the, get the sigils, do dragons, and then put a 
put one unit on siphon and um, depending on what slots you have you can either gem up one of your current units on the siphon set or you might need to um, go and farm another water mona who has the right slots you need um, get that mona to evil 3 and um, once you get that mona to evil 3 you can you can start um, you can go back to b8 and farm a bit more if you need gold and then you can like six stars or not six star um plus 15 some of your gems on the on units that you would use for for golems b10 spend a bit of time in that and then you'll have a lot of gems for all other units to use and then you can use those gems to improve um you know some of your pvp teams because you definitely have the units basically just run like if you have if you just have some aggressors like pretty much just run these four and you can pretty much beat like i think 90 percent of uh all arena defenses just with this if you have good enough gems like you just run uh three aggressors and persephone yeah just like three aggressors persephone and you can pretty much beat like 90 percent of all all defenses um you also have like dark atito if you have some good gems on these two you can also do kind of do what i do with the uh with the cura but you can use your dark spark it and then i don't know if your spark it has hp lead but that's also really nice you you see me um do do the the team with cupid cura and two dark atitos yeah yeah that you can run something like that oh you have a second dark miho as well but she doesn't have a score. It, it doesn't really matter. Just put her triple HP. She's still really, really strong. Mm -hmm. The important thing is just to get her resistance high. Um. Do you have a variant spark it? Do you have like a no. single one that's variant? No. Hmm. You might need a defensive leader skill. You could go like fire suck, dark spark it, and like two two dark units. That could also work as well. Or run um. Or run C star for the crit, but you need like these to like max crit. But if you're farming golems B ten for a while, you should be able to do that as well. So you, you pretty much have all the units you need to do whatever. Because if you raise that Miho, you can just run like. Aggressors and Persephone on defense. Or um, or even um, you know run run Thor instead on defense that could also work as well. I think that's what you're currently running. But the problem is your gems aren't maxed out, so you need to form a little bit of B10 for that. Yeah. I got yeah. my work cut out for me. Yeah, I think I think that's it. That's uh, that's pretty much pretty much everything we need. Do you have any other questions? Uh, no, I think you answered everything. All right. Um, thank you for thank you for coming on, Amy. Um, and yeah, if you guys need me to do any any reviews for your account, um, PM me on Discord, and the link is below in the description. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.